Good morning ESM, I'm Elena and with apple season already here I decided to do today's shows on apples. I interviewed Joe, a farmer at the regional market and asked him about the different types of apples he grows. More on this after news. Famous YouTuber Gabby Petito's boyfriend is on the run after refusing questioning from the police. They went on a trip in July to a cross-country cross trip in a converted van and returned home without her on September 1st. Gabby's body was found last week. Her boyfriend refused questioning and is now on the run. The Jonas Brothers play St. Joseph's Amphitheater this Sunday at 6 p.m. with Kelsey Bat Ballerini opening. COVID restrictions are in place for this event with masks optional with proof of vaccination. Tickets start at $29 each. Held officially through September 16th through September 23rd, Bisexuality Awareness Week is held, also known as hashtag Bi Week. Bi Day is on the 23rd of September. This week is to show awareness about the bi community and to shed light on the harmful stereotypes about them. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Alright, I'm here with Joe from Red Creek Orchard. Now, with apple picking season here, what are some different varieties of apples you guys are picking now? Uh, we've gotten into the early Cortlands, which are a red Cortland, and Macintosh. We're picking some Gala and some uh, Honey Crisp already. And are like specific types used for baking? Are there like any? Yep, yep. Cortland's a good all purpose apple. It's good for baking and eating fresh. Uh, we have 20 ounce pippins, they're also a good baking apple. And then like your honey crisp and, and uh, some of the sweeter apples are better for eating. And what's your favorite kind of apple? Uh, I think I'm going to go with the candy crisp. Um, they're a newer variety and they're, they're real sweet and very firm. And when is your guys orchard open? Are you open Monday through Friday? Or? Uh, really we do most of our sales down here at the at the regional market and then we do I sell a lot of juice apples to uh, Mott's and Dr. Pepper and uh, I have a little roadside stand that you know it's a, just a little shed and that's open weekends. All right well thank you. Yes thank you. On Monday September 20th students and parents can attend the Eastside College Fair at Fayetteville Manlius High School from 5 to 7 p.m. Attendees will have the opportunity to meet with admissions representatives from over 60 public and private universities. The fair will be outside. Class of 2024, please order your Color War shirts by midnight, Monday, September 20th. The link is posted on the Class of 2024 Google Classroom. Any questions, please see Ms. Baker or Ms. Lorenzo. So, I interviewed, like you just saw, Joe at the Farmer's Market. The regional market is open from 7 to 2 p.m. on Saturdays and Sundays. And after weather, I'll be talking about some fall activities that you can do. Today, on Monday, we will have a high of 81 and a low of 61 degrees, making today a nice warm day to be outside before we start getting into the colder fall weather. Today, we'll have lots of sunshine with no clouds or rain, and tonight we have extra clouds, but like I said, no rain. Tuesday, we'll have a high of 78 and a low of 64 degrees. Tuesday, we'll still be warm and have lots of sun and clouds. Wednesday, Wednesday will mark the start of fall since it will officially begin when we are released from school on Wednesday at 3.20 p.m. Wednesday has a high of 77 and a low of 65 degrees and will have some storms and showers developing. Thursday is the start of fall weather since it will have a high of 76 and a low of 56 with some, some, th with some thunderstorms and rain and you can see that from Thursday on it will start getting colder and colder. 
Friday is a nice cooler day that will have a high of 69 and a low of 50 degrees with even more rain, really showing that we're, we are getting into that nicer fall weather. Saturday and Sunday will continue getting colder with highs around 71 degrees and then we'll most likely have some showers with a little sun. With that, I'm Grayson with your Monday morning weather. So for some fall activities you can do September 16th, Beacon Skiffer is offering yoga in the orchard, which I thought sounded fun. And on the 23rd, there is a Honeycrisp Lovers event after buying a ticket. So the ticket is $100. That's a bit pricey, but for the ticket, you get access to appetizers, cocktail hour, a guided wagon ride through the orchard, and are able to pick your own Honeycrisp apples, which sounded great. Let's head on over to sports. The football team beat Fulton on Friday, 53-20. Quarterback Tyler Bell threw for three touchdowns, and quarterback Nick Comiso threw for another. Rocky L. and Jackson Pim both had two receiving touchdowns, and Plump had an 80-yard kickoff return touchdown. Running backs Michael Cobbs and Daniel Kilke both contributed one touchdown each for the Spartans. The lineback Mike O'Brien got an interception and returned it for a touchdown scoring for the first defensive touchdown all season. The defense played great as well as Ian Hayden leading the team with tackles with 11. The boys soccer team lost to CBA 1-0. The golf team won on Friday 215-281 to against Central Square. Zach Johnson shot 38 and Logan Welch shot 42. The Baltimore Ravens beat Candace CD. Chiefs 36 to 35. Lamar Jackson led the efforts with two running rushing touchdowns. Syracuse football crushed Albany 62 to 24. Sean Tucker led the team with 132 yards and two, four touchdowns. They played Liberty on Friday at home. Both golf teams play against Auburn at 3:30. Girls tennis plays at JD at 4:30, and field hockey plays at Auburn at 6. I'm Leah Rome with Swartz. Beacon Skiff is open from 10 to 5 Monday through Friday and 8 to 5 Saturday and Sunday. I hope you go buy some apples, maybe go to the Honeycrisp Lovers event and take advantage of these activities. For me and everyone here at the morning show, have an awesome Monday.